Leading off from the top of the second, number 43. Baseball has always been at the heart of this Lodi community, and with nearly 100 years in history, so is Zupo Field. But things changed when a fire in 2019 destroyed much of the field. It was hard on the community. This is where our high school teams play and where we can kind of rally around. Um, baseball is a big deal here in Lodi. It is uh, part of who we are, and so losing that and this, the ability to play here was tough for the last few years. Since then, not much has happened at the field other than a few local high school baseball games where those attending had no choice but to bring their own chairs and watch at a distance. This is where the grandstand used to be before it ultimately burned down a few years ago. Now all that's left is this empty space and some rusty old pillars, but officials say that this will all look different come next year. Construction will start on the dugouts and the grandstands and a new press box, and they'll all be ADA compliant as well. Campbell says a four and a half million dollar approved budget for the repairs was made possible through city funding, insurance, and community donations. The number of comments and calls that we received was through the roof, and I think it's you know rightfully so. Community members are excited for a new beginning. I, I know the kids love this field because they're always happy to come over and they'll walk out the grass, look at it, and say, ah, oh, this grass is different, but it's nice. And to get you back outside and playing ball. I think during the pandemic, people saw how important it was to have outdoor activities for, for people, for young people to do. In Lodi, Josie Hart, KCRA 3 News. So the repairs are expected to start this month, and city officials say the goal here is to have all this work done by January, which is pretty quick, and that yeah. would be in time for their 100th anniversary. Yeah, what a party that's yeah. going to be when they reopen <laughs> that.